All right, so to get started, you want to come in from the passenger side. Here's where you'll find your blower motor. It is sitting right here in the footwell. Very easy to find. So once you come inside your car and you look straight up, here is your blower motor. All right, so once we're here with the blower motor, it's actually very straightforward. There's four things holding it in place. We have three Phillips screws and one electrical connector. So the electrical connector is just a simple push tab. Push down on the tab and pull your plug out. As always, I recommend that you never pull on the wires, but always on the little clip itself. The three Phillips screws are kind of annoying. You got the first one here, which is easy, right up front. You can use a regular size screwdriver. The second one is tucked in right here in between this little valley, essentially. So you can see my finger goes in. There's one hiding in here. And then if you just make a straight line between the first screw and this little bulbous thing sticking out, there's another one back here you kind of have to feel for. Now, the other thing is if you are using a regular screwdriver, it'll work fine for the first two, but because of the way the foot rest here is angled, you have to try to find the shortest little Phillips screwdriver that you have to get that one out because you will not be able to stand this guy straight up to get to that screw. So let's go ahead and take those three Phillips screws out and we'll show you how the motor just essentially drops out. So that's going to be your hardest one. Once again, just a regular Phillips screw. And then for the other two, I'll use my full size screwdriver. There you go. That comes out and there's your blower motor. Now my blower came out kind of clean essentially, but if I get my hand up in here, I can just feel a whole bunch of debris. A lot of stuff is falling out. So if you can try to get a little vacuum in your hand, just kind of feel around and just get a lot of this crap out. Like it's just little leaves, debris, twigs and stuff. So let's see what we can get. All right, and then to get the blower motor back in place, you're just doing the same in reverse. Get the blower motor up there, the three Phillips screws and the connector. Now, the one thing I didn't mention when I took it off, the forward most Phillips had this wire tab on it. Just make sure that goes back on because that just keeps the wire from falling out. So that'll just hold it in place. And there you have it. 